Now take the left ear backing and line it up with Robbie's ear and once you've done that take one of the 4.5mm count sunk screws with a screwdriver and just place that in the back making sure that that's tightened down do not over tighten it okay now we're going to attach Robbie's ears okay so taking Robbie's head and looking at the left hand side looking from the back so you've got the left hand side here okay Obviously from your front, it's going to be this side. Take the ear and line up the ear and the corresponding three holes. And once again, take three of the 2.5mm or the two 4.5mm countersunk screws and then screw those down into position. Okay, once you've done that, do exactly the same with Robbie's right ear. Now take the next stand that you assembled in stage 6 and locate the small notch in the servo shaft. Okay. Now line that up with Robbie's head and then gently place Robbie's head onto the servo. Once that's on the servo just gently push down. All right. Do not force the head from side to side Okay, because next we're going to be doing the head test. Now, Robbie's head movement is now ready to be tested. So, as you did when we tested the servo in the previous stage, first turn on the power from the battery pack, and then simply press the test button on the circuit board, and watch as Robbie moves his head from side to side. Now, take the head assembly from the previous stage and the ear trim provided with this stage and making sure that the outside where you've got the, the mesh on there, okay, in the countersunk area fits on the outside, facing the outside, taking the countersunk screw and then screwing that into position. Like so once you've done that, do exactly the same to the other side. In preparation for fitting the servo in stage A, we need to do exactly the same as what we've done before by placing a protective pad on the servo cable, making sure that you've got that around the right way. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to disassemble the servo, taking the top plate off, and then once we've undone those screws, we're then going to pass the cable through, okay, um, and then connect it up and then reseal it back up as we've done with the previous stages. Now as you can see, we've now fed the cable through and it's in its respective place and then we're going to be connecting the servo and setting the ID number and testing the servo. So take the next stand and then making sure that the power is in the off position and for it to be off you'll find out that there's no green lights and there's no movement. Very carefully disconnect servo for Robbie's head 
and then we're going to reconnect the servo that we've just assembled gently placing that into position like so okay Now, to set the ID number of the right forearm servo that we've just connected, we need to set it to number 18. And to do that, we need to press the up button 17 times and to confirm the setting by checking that the 10 and the 8 LEDs are lit using the up and down buttons to correct number if necessary. All right. Now, you confirm this setting by pressing the test set button and the 10 and the 8 lights should flash, then go out. Okay, so turn it on, follow the instructions, and then we're going to set the ID. Now in stage 9, we're going to be assembling Robbie's right forearm frame. So first of all, we need to start with the finger mount. And take the right forearm frame and the finger mount, and it doesn't matter which way it goes in. Okay, it will go either way as you can see here and just place that into position. Once you've done that, get hold of two M2 by 10 millimeter pan head screws and then just place those at the back and then tighten those both up. Next, take Robbie's thumb and place that in position as you can see in the following photograph and align up the hole in the back and then take a 5mm pan head screw, place that in the back and gently tighten that up. Now taking the servo from the previous stage, take the cover back off by undoing the four long screws. Then taking Robbie's arm, place the cable through the hole and then aligning up the servo as you can see here. Once you're happy that the cable is going through, take your screwdriver and then gently screw down the four screws down into position. Now referring to the instructions in the magazine for a more detailed explanation um, you'll notice that on the servo you've got a recess that matches the shaft projection from the servo. Now both of these have a flat section making them um, slightly D-shaped. Now if you align them both together Okay, you should find out that the elbow should fit and it should be in line as such as you've got here. Okay, so once you've got that, push that into position. Now, next, take the other elbow joint and feed the cable through the hole, like so, and then over the other end of the shaft, and then you'll notice then it will then lock down and you've got two holes here and we need to put the two 8mm M2 countersunk screws in there to hold that into position. Once you've done that, take the right forearm and place that over the assembly that we've just done as you can see here and then once you're happy with that fit you then need to fit two 
six millimeter countersunk screws and they go here and here which are right beside Robbie's thumb. Now in stage 10, in the final stage of this pack, we're going to be fitting some more parts to Robbie's right upper arm frame. Now, look very, very carefully and notice at the top, if I can point it out, there's a recess here. Now this recess is for the servo cable. Okay. Now, once you've got that, you need to take the plate that came with this stage and then place that over the top like so making sure that that cable is in between there like so without being crimped once you've done that take two of the six millimeter flat heads and screw that down into position Now, take the right upper for arm frame, and you'll notice that you've got a rectangular hole, okay, which is just here. And we need to pass the cable through that rectangular hole, and then you'll notice that you've also got three holes as well in the tops, which we need to line up, okay. And you'll notice it's at roughly 45 degrees, and it's at an angle. So take three or a few flathead counter hut sunk screws and screw those down in to position. Now the final part of the stage we need to prepare the servo cable. So once again take the servo cable and take one of the small sticky pads and place that onto the servo cable 